What would it take to make an invisibility cloak? By Clara McCarroll. Chapter 1. Hiding in Plain Sight Imagine you have a special cloak. You pull it out of a trunk and slip it over your head. Suddenly, no one can see you. You're invisible. Where will you go? What will you do? People have made up stories about invisibility for a long time. Stories from long ago told about a helmet of invisibility. The Lord of the Rings books told about a magic ring. It made the wearer disappear. In the Harry Potter book series, there is a famous invisibility cloak. A real invisibility cloak may sound impossible, but scientists have worked on making them. So far, they can't be slipped on and off like real cloaks, but someday, you might have the chance to wear one. Fans can see the invisibility cloak costume from the Harry Potter movies in Leaves Den, England. Chapter 2 What is an invisibility cloak? An invisibility cloak is an object that makes another object invisible. It may not always look like a real cloak. To see objects, light is needed. When light hits an object, the object takes in or absorbs some of the light. The rest of the light bounces off. The light that bounces off hits our eyes. This sends a message to our brains. The message tells us what we see. Some kinds of light are visible to the eye. We see them as colors. Other kinds can't be seen by human eyes. To hide an object, an invisibility cloak must work with energy. Energy moves in waves. Light is one kind of energy. An object reflects light of the color that the object appears to be. It absorbs light of all other colors. For example, a green leaf reflects green light while absorbing every other color. Black objects absorb all light. White objects reflect all light. A piece of glass called a prism can split white light into visible colors. Clear glass is almost invisible because it lets light travel all the way through. But glass can't make another object invisible. Invisibility cloaks cannot just absorb all light. They would look black. They also cannot reflect all light. They would look white. Instead, the cloak must show the light from behind the object being hidden. Scientists have made several kinds of invisibility cloaks. Some cloaks bend or change light. Some use cameras. None of today's cloaks are like the ones seen in movies. To one day make a wearable invisibility cloak, scientists must work through several challenges. Light can pass easily through some materials, such as glass. A professor talks about a test version of an invisibility cloak. This cloak shows an image of the background on the cloak. Fun fact, people can make some glass nearly invisible. They add a special coating that keeps light from bouncing off. This glass is used for windshields, eyeglasses, and other products. Chapter 3. How would invisibility cloaks work? Some invisibility cloaks use lenses. Lenses are curved pieces of glass or plastic. They are used in eyeglasses and cameras. Lenses squeeze light together. They also can spread light apart. In a cloaking device, lenses can bend light around an object to hide it. Scientists who study light use many kinds of lenses and mirrors. Lenses can bend light in ways that may make invisibility cloaks possible. Simple invisibility cloaks use mirrors. Both magicians and scientists have used mirrors to make things look like they aren't there. Mirrors can bounce light so it goes around an object. If the viewer is in the right spot, the object can look invisible. Some invisibility cloaks use metamaterials. These are made by mixing materials. Metamaterials act in ways that are not seen in nature. Some of these materials can bend light waves. They bend the light around a hidden object. One kind of invisibility cloak doesn't bend or bounce light. It copies light instead. It uses a camera to record the background behind the object that will be hidden. Then a screen is placed in front of the hidden object. The screen shows the background. It looks like nothing is there. Hiding objects with mirrors. Two L-shaped mirrors can hide something from view. 
They are set up between the viewer and the background. In this diagram, a person stands next to one of these mirrors. The mirrors bounce an image of the background around the person. To the viewer, part of the person appears invisible. Top view. Mirror. Background. Mirror. Cloaked, hidden object. Viewer. Front view. Mirror. Mirror. Chapter 4. Current Tech Today's technology has allowed scientists to make a few kinds of cloaks. In 2006, scientists tried a test with metamaterials. They made a cloak 5 inches, 13 centimeters across. It bent waves of energy around a piece of metal. But the cloak had one problem. The material could only bend some kinds of energy waves. It did not bend the light waves that people see people could still see the piece of metal. It only looked invisible to machines that see certain kinds of energy waves. Still, the test was a good first step. Scientists continued to make advances. They found ways to bend light people can see. In 2007, scientists made a material that bent red light. Other scientists have made one that can bend blue-green light. In 2013, scientists made a very thin metamaterial cloak. Unlike past cloaks, this one could wrap around objects, but it did not work with energy waves that people can see. It could only hide objects from machines that see certain energy waves. Two scientists created a cloak that hides objects from being seen by machines that see some kinds of energy waves. In 2014, scientists made an invisibility cloak using lenses. They called it a Rochester cloak. The lenses took light from one side of the cloak, and formed it into a narrow beam. On the other side, a lens spread the light out again. Objects can hide between the lenses as long as they do not cover the narrow beam. Two years later, scientists created the digital Rochester cloak. They used a camera and a screen. First, a camera took pictures of the background behind an object. It got pictures from several directions. Then a screen showed what the camera saw. The object was hidden behind the screen. A person looking at the screen just saw the background. Scientists have used cameras to make simple invisibility cloaks. Animal invisibility. The bodies of some animals are like invisibility cloaks. Glass octopuses have clear skin. All you can see are their eyes and guts. Cuttlefish skin can change color to look like the seafloor. These coverings help hide sea creatures from animals that might attack them. In 2018, scientists tried a new idea. They sent light through an object rather than around it. They called it a spectral cloak. To show how it worked, they shined light toward an object that allows some light to pass through it. The light first passed through a device that changed the light's color. Then the light passed through the object. On the other side, a filter changed the light back to its original color. The light seemed to shine through as if the object were not there. This may be one step on the way to invisibility cloaks. Filters change the light that passes through them. Special filters may make invisibility cloaks possible. Chapter 5. What tech is needed? Scientists still haven't made a true invisibility cloak that a person could wear. All the current tech has limits. Some cloaks only work when a person looks at them from certain directions. Other cloaks do not work with the kind of energy waves that people see. Many are stiff. Some are hard to move. To make a true invisibility cloak, scientists must solve a few big challenges. The cloak needs to be thin and light. It needs to be flexible. At the same time, it must cover a large area. It must work from all directions. It needs to work with the kinds of energy waves that people see. Invisibility cloaks would need to be light and flexible to be useful. Scientists have made very thin cloaks out of metamaterial. Some can be wrapped around very small objects to hide them. So far, these cloaks have only hidden tiny objects. Scientists think this may not work for something as large as a person. If scientists find a way around the size problem, there is still another challenge to solve. The hidden object still makes a shadow. Scientists need to find some way to stop this. 
then the object will truly be invisible. Someday, scientists might be able to hide large objects such as bicycles, but they would also need to hide the shadows from the objects. Digital cloaks work with all the light people can see. However, the current tech only works from a few directions. A full invisibility cloak needs to hide an object from all directions. Some digital screens can bend. They might be able to wrap around an object. That could hide an object from more directions. A better digital cloak could use more cameras to record from more angles. Spectral cloaks show promise. Scientists have proved they work in one direction with a green beam of light. Now they must prove the tech can work from more directions and with more colors. Sunlight is made up of many colors. Making the technology better could let things hide in sunlight. Bending screens could lead to better digital cloaks. Chapter 6. What could the future look like? Invisibility has many uses. The military is especially interested in invisibility. Soldiers could use it to move safely through a battle. Planes and ships could hide from enemies. Spies could use cloaks to sneak up on people. Invisibility cloaks can have other uses, too. Metamaterials might let doctors peek into a person's body. Invisibility gloves could help doctors see past their hands while operating. A digital invisibility cloak could be used with vehicles. This could help drivers and pilots. They could see all around them. The car or plane walls would not block their view. Today, some jets can hide from devices made to find airplanes. Will future planes be invisible to the eye? People once thought invisibility cloaks were impossible. Scientists now think they are possible. We don't yet have cloaks like the ones in movies, but someday we might. Scientists are making the technology better. They are looking for new ways to hide objects. Someday, you might have an invisibility cloak of your very own. What would you do if you could hide in plain sight? Invisibility cloaks might someday go from science fiction to reality. Stealth planes. The U.S. military uses stealth airplanes. People can see these airplanes, but radar systems cannot. Radar systems use radio waves to find things that are far away. Stealth airplanes have special shapes. They have special paint. These things make some waves bounce off. They make the plane almost invisible to radar. This helps the plane hide from an enemy.